This video is brought to you by Monster Insights. In this video, I'll walk you through four different methods you can use to find broken links on your website. And then I'll walk you through how to quickly fix them. So if you're ready, let's get going. There are two main reasons broken links are really bad for your website. And the first one is for search engines. When search engines show people a broken link to the website, that is not good user experience. And so they don't want to show website links that are going to nowhere. And that's because the number two biggest reason is because the user experience. If someone comes to your website and they don't find what they're looking for, they don't like it. And it's a bad user experience for them. So you'll want to fix these as quickly as you can and stay on top of making sure that you don't have any broken links. So let's go through some of the ways that you can do that. The first two are by using programs that you can by and this helps you keep up with your site in general. The first one that you want to do is sign up for a SEMrush account. It's a paid service, but they do offer limited free trial to get started. To do a site audit, once you log in and set everything up, scroll down, you're looking for site audit. It's over on the left hand tab. So we'll click on site audit. And then over on the right, we'll click on new site audit. From here, you'll simply want to put in your domain name first. And you can name it whatever you want and then create the project. You can leave everything here the same and click start site audit. From here, we'll go through and begin crawling your website for the site audit. It might take a few minutes, especially if your site is really large. So you'll want to give it a little bit of time. And then once it's finished, you'll come back and see. From here, you can see a dashboard look and you'll see down here we have broken links. So you can click on that and it will take you to the broken link. You see the, the, H, the status code is 404, meaning not found. So you can go through and make sure that you fix those. And I'll show you in a minute how you fix the broken links. The next way that you can do that is by using another program called Ahrefs. And it's an amazing all-in-one SEO tool. In fact, we did a video on how to use both of these on finding keywords. And you can check that out to see that video. You'll also need to sign up with an account. They do have a full featured seven day trial for $7. It's an amazing seven days that you can look at everything on your site. You can also do some keyword research as well as some competitive research to find some topics that you might want to cover if you aren't already. So make sure you sign up at least for the seven day trial and we'll have a link in the description below. And once you sign in, go to the site explorer and the same as with SEMrush, you simply type in your website, click OK, and what it will do is it'll bring back some stats on your site. Now with this one, we can scroll down and go to pages and say best by links right here. And then once you click on that up here at the HTTP code, we can scroll down and look for not found. And once you see all these links, these are all of the ones that are broken. And so you can export these. So then you can go through and clean everything up. You can choose a quick export and that'll just export everything. Even though it says a thousand rows, it'll only do the full 89 rows and then just export those out. And then that way you can go in and fix them. The third method is by using the search console and you should already set up your website with search console. If you need to have a walkthrough on how to do that, we have a video up here where you can get started in setting up your site using Search Console. To find broken links with Search Console, simply go to Index Coverage, and over here you'll see Excluded. If you click on that, scroll down, and you see the reason why some are excluded, and you'll see Not Found as the reason why. So you can click on that reason why, and here you have a list of the ones that you'll need to fix. From here, you just want to click on the download if you want, so that you can have the data so that you can fix the broken links. And I'll show you that after this next method. Now, the next method is simply by adding a plugin to your website. And it's down at the bottom because we really don't recommend this plugin anymore, simply because it's a resource intense plugin, which means it will slow down your website and manage hosting companies like WP Engine actually don't block, don't allow users to use this. So just be mindful of that fact, but a lot of people still like to use it. So we're going to show this. So you'll want to add the plugin to do this. You'll need to go to your dashboard, WordPress dashboard from here. Let's head over to plugins, add new in the search box. We're looking for a broken link checker. This is the one we want. So let's go ahead and click install now and stick around that once it's installed, we'll also want to activate the plugin as well. Once you click activate, 
we can either go to settings from here or you can go down to settings if you ever need to come back to it go down to settings link checker to see what it's doing and it's actually going through and finding all of the links for your website and i'll tell you if they have any broken links found if you do you can simply go over to tools go to broken links to see all the broken links here. Under broken links, you'll see this area where you can fix it and you'll see that the URL that is broken and not there. You'll see the status, you'll see the link text and you'll see the source. This means the, this is the post or the article that is linking to this broken link. And so you can go in and edit here to either remove it. If you want to, you can also go in and recheck it just to see was it a false positive or something like that? And they'll come back and say, no, we did really find a broken link. So those are the four methods that you can do to find broken links. And now let's take a look at how to fix it. Now, what you could do is you could either recreate this if it's an important article or an important post that you accidentally deleted. But let me show you what a lot of people do instead. This is by installing a redirection plugin. And this is perfect for keeping your site up to date because as you're growing and changing articles and things like that, articles just get deleted, posts just get deleted, and so do pages. And so you'll just want to add a plugin to keep it all straight. So let's head over to plugins, add new. And this plugin you'll keep on your site at all times. You'll never remove it. And this is just going to handle all of the redirects. And the redirection plugin is very similar to when you move and you update your postal service with your new address. Basically, all of this is doing is saying, oh, this used to be the address that people would go to. Now I'm going to send the visitors to this new address. Once it's activated, you'll see that you have a link up here where you can go. Or if you're ever on your dashboard and you need to set up a new redirection, you'll simply find the redirection under tools, redirection. And this gives you a little bit of information. So basically, this is the source. That's the old or original URL. And then the target will be the new URL. And so it's just giving you some information and documentation on how to do it. And if you're ready, we can hit start setup. You can choose to monitor permalink changes. So if you decide to change the way that your structure is, it'll monitor for that and set up redirects for you. You can also choose to keep a log of all the redirects. Next, we'll go to continue setup and it's going to make sure that our rest api is all right and now we'll finish setup so that we can set up our redirection for our broken links all right so now you take that list that you got from semrush hrefs and your search console and we'll go in and add the redirects so from here we want to do the source url so for instance we have this vacation url that is broken so i'm going to highlight this text right click and copy it so that i can use it I'm gonna go back to my redirection and I want to paste that in here. And then you want to decide where you want it to redirect to. Do you have a better vacation page that you want to send people to? Do you have another post that's more specific to what you want people to do? You want to make sure that you have a good redirect for it to redirect people. Just to show you what this does, I'm just going to copy that. URL and I'm going to paste it in here and simply click add redirect. So now anytime people go to vacation, it'll be redirected to images and you can click on vacation and see that it is being redirected. So you'll want to go through that for the whole list of all the other articles that you have or all the other broken links that you found and set up the redirect for all of those here. If you have the broken link checker plugin installed, then since you set this up, we can go to broken links and say recheck. And you see now it's okay because it's being redirected. Now we can safely remove this plugin because we removed all of the broken links that that plugin found. So I'm going to go back to my installed plugins. Deactivate the broken link checker and also delete it. Great. Another great way to see how these redirect links are doing is simply by installing Monster Insights. This will tell you your top pages and posts on your site, and that'll be great for showing how your broken link redirects are doing. 
especially if they become your top posts or pages on your site. And it can show you your top sessions, your top pages, your best converting pages. With Monster Insights, you'll see exactly how people find and use your website. And then you can focus on the content that matters. Plus, you'll see all of your important store metrics in one place so you can improve conversions. To get started, head over to monsterinsights.com and use promo code WPBVIP to get 50% off of Monster Insights.